this is one of the big ones in the UK. It's technically part of the airport. I don't know what the legalities are of that. So there's people outside. It's security. All right. We're in. Stairs there. That's a 747. Oh, that's cool. Yo. We're in Heath Road, baby. We're gonna try and get into the BA training. It's old training facilities. A few people have uh, been here lately and said that um, the security is a bit more lax on the place. Wow. Plane parts and shit. Big things. So we just had a walk around. We came in and that, that fence there and we're trying to stay on this side of the building because there's cars parked in front of the main entrance so we spotted some people we heard some rustling in the bushes which isn't uncommon for london i also saw someone with a backpack on so i mean the only other positive to seeing the person today is they've been here before and they know how to get in nine 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 Slash IT room. I mean, it's just to be fair, Norton, it makes all of this this series of disabled John very unique <laughs> in the urban exploring world. Exploring with crutches. No one's done it before. First floor of training, it says. Right. Well, we need to head in the direction of the flight sim because that's the oh. the goal. Let's go. I think that might be it. Do you think some vandals put that up there? They're all on pallets. They are all on pallets. Do you think? that it's so they can move them round to create different scenarios inside a plane. You know, to simulate different planes. Maybe, but like the fact that we've been on pallets seems very like low tech. Boys, 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 boys. I'm pretty sure this is it. Right, let's let's go. This is I think I I genuinely think this is the most excited I've ever been for an abandoned place. If we say that again. If we found what we were looking for so soon, then uh come on, then that's good. Ah, shit, I'm not looking where I'm going. Oh, it is, it is. Have we hit the jackpot? Read diffusion simulator. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. This is a first for the Urban Exploring Adventure Show. Hang on, hang on, I'm... Playing. I thought you were asking for something. Be careful, Mark. Look at this. Oh my god, it moved. What do you want? Yeah, it moves at the same time. Lordy, <laughs> I'd be your co pilot any day. How ace is this? This reminds me of a holidays pre 9 11. Yes, it does remind me of holidays pre 9 11 when you were allowed to go in the cockpit. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, of course you don't remember you were that. I was born in 2002. I was a four. I think it's four or three. It is the blind. Oh, look, 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 look. So that's the throttle. Oh, what are you, what are you going too fast. Speed brake. And then reverse. Oh, what did you, know oh. Would you, you reckon you could get, get away around? Say, say that again, no. The amount of hours that you've played on Flight Simulator, do you think you could get yourself? No, and I could fly this with my eyes closed. <laughs> do you reckon you could? I'd have a go. <laughs> Put that guy on snakes on a plane that plays God, like PSP too much. I could barely drive a car without <laughs> crashing it. I was gonna say, I wish we had these sort of controls in the van so I could. What, like, like dual control? Yeah, so I could, like, you know, just watch you. Car. He crashed a car, his car into his other car. But the thing that fascinates me about like cockpits and stuff is that there are literally a million fucking buttons here. Like, a million. And every single one does something. Yeah, that is just so cool. And, uh, I don't think anyone said that this bitch has got spiral. Snake. <sighs> fire. What's this? Sony Auto Search Control. It's like something you see on Tecmo. I am so happy right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. Where are you gone? Where are you? Oh, you're downstairs. Oh, you're there. <laughs> I didn't even see you. You see that stuff on the floor? 
That's the nose. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks like the nose. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it don't look like it. It don't look like it at all, actually. This is like a... Like Hang on. What's really cool, like, you see all that? Yeah, it's all hydrogen. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, that entire thing moves. This is easily one of the coolest places we've been this year. Probably ever. You can hear the planes coming over. Such a cool place. Oh yeah, so like loads of... We saw into this room. Yeah, we did see into this room. The so next one is the other the flight actual simulator. flight simulator that we saw. No, but there's one. There's one where it looks like a plane, like the front of a plane. I don't actually think it's the think, flight simulator, it might be something one. else. It's but it's got British Airways written on it. When we first came in, it was like one of them places where you're on high alert and sneaking around. But hopefully all the best shit's on this side because we don't want to go that side. And I mean, I don't know what the legalities are of being in a fucking uh, airplane training facil facility this close to. I don't know. It's technically part of the airport, I'm guessing. I don't know what the legalities are of that, so who knows? What's BMI? What's BMI? Body mass index? No, planes. Planes? Yeah. No idea. Because that one says BMI in the same font as what I just saw a little tag that said BMI in. Might just be like a. A sister brand. Oh! BMI baby! Used to be a. a. airline. Call Richard Taylor for further information. So these are all parts of old planes, potentially? Well, no, because look at the windows and that. Yeah, I know, but they've just taken the glass out. What? Well, yeah. Hang on. That's not a real thing. Oh, do you mean that they have to like, cut out the square to put the window? Yeah, it might be. You know, to be fair, I think it's fiberglass, so I don't think it is part. It's not a What are real planes made out of? Aluminium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big aluminium pieces that they yeah, rivet together. <laughs> this is really this is really strange. I wonder what they were used for. Maybe they were trying to build their own plane. So you had to get out of here because it was an abusive place to work. A few people yep. watch a few people watching at home want to know why this place closed down that he's not the reason but if you do actually want to know why this place goes down closed down i advise you go over to an abandoned channel because they've probably done a very in-depth evaluation of this place <laughs> and not just turned up and gone oh fucking what? hell a plane oh wow it's like being on holiday must be one of the hardest things i've ever done navigate around an abandoned building wearing crutches what harder than uh, your day as a carer, carer. You know that video? That video didn't do it justice. What, how bad it was? Yeah, I, didn't, I don't really think I explained it that well. Well, you explained it pretty good. Yeah, thanks. It's alright. Should we go down there You see, really, once you're in, you don't have to be that sneaky anymore, do you? Do you think? This has been about a while. Yeah, a long time, this bit. Yeah. Whoa. That is a very mouldy room. Well, mossy room. Yeah. What are you doing? You dick. This place is gigantic. You can see the scale of the place from here. Look how, like, mossy that is. Oh yeah, but it's like built into the wall. Oh yeah, like all recycling bins, so... Might be a snack room. Do you think this is like... 70s? Yeah. Got a 70s. I think, go, I think we need to go that way. Why? Because we need to get there. So if we go that way and then there... We're going Holy shit! Right it's massive! Yeah, it's 
Look at this. I'm guessing this was a classroom where you learn how to fly shit. Lovely suspended ceiling. So we came in like around here. Yeah. And I'm assuming we're in this bit? Fight sims were here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense because all the pipe work and shit you could see. I'm going down this corridor and right. Okay. Right. Because this warehouse is a bit safe, so I'm just going to go check it out. But before you like, carry on and we get lost. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Is he that like, worried we're going to lose him? I think he doesn't even realise that's what we've been trying to do for the last six years. Seven years. Seven years. God, we've been doing this seven years. Fuck me. Seven oh. years and we're still fucking... Almost a decade. And we're still... And you're knackered. I'm not on crutches, because they... You're on crutches. You're bald. I'm bald. He's going bald. Fucking hell, what's going on? <laughs> you're on crutches, I'm bald and he's gay. <laughs> not an, have they nicked our telly from school? Oh fuck! Fuck! Have we found it? It's the player! Right, we should be able to know now, shouldn't we? Should we not? Boy, should we do the intro? Okay. You know King of Bongos? Oh, Nick King and King of Bongos intro? Yeah, put it in here. Looking at the building, we can safely assume that there ain't no plane in there. Yeah, no, definitely. Because that's. Size, it? Yeah, it's officers. So it has to be so like around the, there. So like this L on this side has yeah. got to be all the training stuff and then that L it's on that side all is all officers, yeah. Has to be. So it's got to be. Unless it is that building that you said it was. Yeah, the one that we... That's the but, only but, one I can... But it seems too small, but... But then again... But then again, from, from space, everything's small. That's my excuse. I can see a bit of a plane. I can't. <laughs> Wait, what's down there? I don't, I don't know how to explain it. He thinks he's, he thinks he's seen a plane in there. There's a fucking liability at this point. To be fair, that does go into a giant warehouse. So this is cool down here, we need to check this out. Look at the front. Oh shit! It's enormous. It's massive. Yeah. Wait. Oh. See, it's a bit of a story. Boys, boys, this is it. It's got red girders. Yeah. That way. Oh wait, what's that way? Oh my Fuck god, this goes on forever. No, it's this, it's this way because this, this is still the. Um, it's got to be this. It's got to be this. It has got red girders. Might just have to just start walking back then. Because it makes sense. Be but it's like the end there. It makes sense because the way it's laid out, it's like you built, you work your way up. You know, like one day you're in the classrooms. What? Another simulator. Another simulator. <laughs> Whoa, it's been graffitied. Oh, yeah, it is a simulator. Yeah, it's a simulator. Might be a different plane. Can't remember what the other one was. Oh, look at the old computer monitor. Yeah, it's a different layout. It looks much smaller, this one. Oh, the windows are intact. That's interesting. Oh, hello. Oh wow. Not in. The front of this looks like the space shuttle. Or Darth Vader's mask. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. What's interesting is I'm still a bit confused. Because a flight simulator needs a screen. That's what I was just thinking. You can so do some kind of. They must have had a big projector, but if they have a big projector, you know when you like tilting up and down like that, you'll be viewing different parts of the screen. I always thought the screens were inside the. I thought it was like more like a you know like a space simulator where you're in kind of like a thing that moves. You know because. 
Otherwise, there's like no repercussions for your actions. You are um, in a thing that moves. It does move. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's on a big platform and there's loads of hydraulics underneath that move oh, it up I and down. I you know, a bit like those um, things at the seaside. Yeah, yeah. That you pay three quid to go in. But look, it's in this. They've got speakers. So, like, outside noise of the plane, you know, like wind noise and stuff, or when you're going like. Through a cloud. Yeah, it'll direct it. Yeah, directions. Pretty Directional. Cool. The other one had like a dome over it that had like what would have been like a green screen we've, effect thing. We've just been trying to work out why the fuck there's no screen. Oh, the dome, the, the screen the will be in the dome. The dome was in the dome, it was like a green screen, wasn't it? Yeah, this tape. Uh, but what I was yes. saying then already. Oh, you see in them windows up there? Mm. Their offices have got like tapes for all the... Um, simulations. Like simulations and stuff, but there's also s maintenance manuals for the planes. There was one for a 757 I think it said book book 13 and they're like big thick manuals like this big and there's 13 of them for it, for each plane I was just found this by the way is it a Betamax? I don't know yeah. I can't think of what else Should it would be it says video cassette broadcast standard of course it fucking is. and it's a Sony from, but it's interesting that they would still be using Betamax potentially well, like that, years that, after in yeah, but even in 91, B VHS had won by then. Oh. Is it like a planes like cars? Are they birds? It, Sorry. Yeah. Is, are planes like cars where if you can dr learn how to drive one, you can drive them all? No. Um, yeah. Obviously, if, if I assume that if you like flown one sort of plane, you'd be better off yeah. than learning to fly the next plane than someone who's never learned to fly a plane be before. In a different place and stuff. Yeah. But the base, well, but everything's in a different place on a car. Gear stick, steering wheel, pedals. Yeah, steering wheels will be in the same place, pedals will be in the same place, throttle will be in the same place, but all the buttons might be in different places. I guess same so. as a car. I guess so. It's just there's about 300 times more buttons. Did you hear, that, did you hear about that plane they made that had like a, like a two-stroke? couldn't fly and you yeah. had to drive it on and road. You, you did like a, a twisty. The wingless plane coming soon. <laughs> It was invented by Henry Ford. It was what? It was a plane that had a twisty thing like a yeah, motorbike. I was making a joke that it was like a oh, right. plane. <laughs> I thought you were being serious. Norton's on really strong painkillers and he's hallucinating. So the fact that he's inside an abandoned um, like flight school is kind of fucking with his mind. He's not quite sure what's real and what's I not. I feel like I'm in the air, in a plane. God, that foot feels good today. Should I try and walk up the stairs without crutches? Yeah. Should I try and walk up the stairs without crutches? Just use, I think I can do it. Just use your fucking crutches. Do it when we're out. Right. Even when I can walk properly again, I'm just going to keep my crutches. You're going to keep uh, limping? You get more attention off people. Especially government. They tend to give you money, it's weird. And my glove as well. It's a false hand. Oh yeah, big fucking corridor. Is this the video room? Yeah. Oh, is that Heathrow? That's cool as fuck. Yeah. Where? Oh, wow. Oh, there's another one underneath. Oh no, that's just a picture of some woman pointing at something. Yeah. That is awesome. For a minute there, I did think it was a model, and I got really excited, and then I, I was slightly like bit disappointed. raised up and stuff. Oh, yeah. Why did it react? What, videos? Yeah. Shit. Look at that one on that chair. Look at them bad boys. Holy fuck, is that a giant floppy disk? Feel that, look at how brittle that is. It's like almost as thin as paper. Eh? That's nuts, I've never seen them. I've never seen that before. Just some light reading. Some wiring diagrams. Jesus. That's weird. It? It's, like it's like a giant audio cassette. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, I'll tip it. Hang on. Wow, they're cool. They are cool. It is like a giant. It is, isn't it? Did you see what you sat on, Norton? Yeah. Oh, is that a that's a tip with a oh. with a case? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it a Betamax? Oh, it's not gonna say. Yeah, look, Boeing seven 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 software. Oh, yeah, it's really really cool. Cool. I don't think they're Betamax. Hang on. Look at these. Oh, oh that's so Hang on, I've kind of... It's full of floppy disks. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. But it will open the thing one more, like move it one more. One more? Like open it one more. Look, if 
official Boeing. Yeah, it's that, so isn't it? Cool. So cool. So look, right? It says here, Boeing 777 software. So did you install the operating system of a Boeing 777 by a floppy disk? Maybe, that's how it changed. Look. But, but given how complex the software will have been, you needed about 500 floppy disks right. to do it. Yeah. Check this out, right. So it says, uh, video cassette broadcast standard. So this is my, this might be like, you know what, they film stuff on, like, you know, t t for TV. You know what? I'm Back Googling a, a Betamax tape. It's just a bit before our time, isn't it? Someone at home's probably fucking. Someone at home's probably laughing, going, that's not a Betamax tape. That's that, a, a, that is not a Betamax. That's a Betamax tape. And that looks nothing like it's it. It's like a big video in it. But then again, this is like a big. I don't know. It's look. It's got like the corners cut off at the top, and that one doesn't. Yeah, they're like big videos. It's, they're like big that. VHSs. But you but see something else. But you see this. You know what I mean? Like it might be. Do you know the big old school like yeah. broadcasting cameras? Like the, what they'll have like recorded like TV shows. Like the on news and stuff. on and shit like and that. Back to, like like what I'm when saying. they were broadcasting it, they'll have put that tape in. I'm gonna have to go to Bradford Media Museum and look up this stuff. This is the better one. It's weird, isn't it? It's like a lab. It is like a lab. Oh, oh fuck! Look! No way. Oh my god, that's awesome. Look at that! Oh, that's real shit, cool. That's so cool. Have you seen how the shape is just basically just wire bent? Yeah, it's just wire. I might see if it'll fit PlayStation. That one says. Any uh, names on them? Oh, that one says Cell A Exit. Oh, exterior, sorry. Whoa, what is that? Anyone any ideas? Do you know what's interesting? Is every single um, thing seems to be geared towards Boeing. There's no Airbus here, so I wonder if okay. this is this place was only for learning like Boeing planes. Whoa, shit! Look at all this stuff. Do you know what that is? It's a portable GPS. time machine. No, it's a portable tire machine. No CBs. No, not no, CBs. CBGs. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Really like cool. Like, old technology is just so much fucking cooler than new do technology. Know, do you know why? Because it's, it's like, got buttons and knobs and it's just, shit. There's no bullshit about it. It is exactly... Yeah, it's function. There's no, like, design around it. It's yeah. just like, we need this, and we'll just put it in a box. Yeah. Yeah. And, not only that, it's like, now, technology is basically... There's the machine with a big screen attached to it yeah, everything's and that's got, that's it everything's got a screen and everything's touch screen yeah so which there's is, no buttons which is boring to look at you, think, you know like you know like when we were younger we always thought like touch screen stuff was really really cool yeah in like 20 years do you think kids will be like i'm bored of touch screen let's go back to buttons buttons are so much better <laughs> no. you see like i'm just scared no, cause, cause think about it no, if you had an ipad but with buttons you don't know how many fucking buttons it'd have to have i guess I'm just kind of scared that, like, you know, like the PlayStation 8 is not going to The controller is just a it's, touch it's screen. It shouldn't be a tablet. <laughs> it's not. Oh, it's a parts. It's a parts thing. Oh, fuck. But it's like, look. It's like high rock Do you tell you what it is? Yeah. And then it goes and gets it for you? Yeah. So I caught the other at the back of Argos. Is that true? No, I they're a just person one and Yeah, they just have someone on minimum wage do it instead. <laughs> Excuse me, lads. Look, it's a robotic parts finder. Excellent. Very cool. That's pretty cool. And specimens from all the pilots. Caution. Arsenic. What the fuck is that, laddie? No. It smells, it smells like washing here. 
Drink it and you'll find out. Oh, did you miss the trolley? No. The drinks trolley? There's fucking body. There's Pepsi on it, unopened. Drinks on. Look at the, there's unopened Pepsi. Celery and Coca-Cola cans, peanuts. Coffee out of Pepsi. Oh, look, it's just a little turning bottom. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, Al, 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 they're not complimentary, you've got to pay for them. Yes, yeah, fine, put it on the top. Al, there's someone on the way over. Al spotted a sticker, oh no one spotted a sticker. Get yeah, any like mega negative feedback from the people that put these stickers up. <laughs> yeah. Which leads me to believe they don't watch our channel, which leads me to believe that I'm happy. <laughs> We need to go that way, don't we? It's this way. What you found, Al? Do you want to replace the dial? Oh, van? piss! No way! Whoa. Altitude and FF, whatever that fucking means. I never imagined them to be that long. Do you think they fixed, like, the... I thought they'd be, like, what's what, what's small. It, what's it called? What? The instruments. Do you think they fixed the instruments in here? Oh, no idea. Oh, yeah. So you've got your altitude. In your barometer. Have you ever seen a CD? <laughs> Al's already said this three times. Um, That's not a CD, Al. That's an axle blade. No, that is called a laser disc. Oh, come here, let me cut you with it. It's, Isn't it? Um, that's, a, that's an old laser disc. You need to hang that off your uh, or a laser mirror. dick mirror in your car. They used to be able to, do you know, like in the 80s when they made these, they actually made HD. Yeah, HD, HD's been around for yeah, forever. Yeah. And it was on laser discs. I've actually never seen a laser disc in the flesh. I thought it would be made out of bio material, but it's not as it wide. And two things. You found two things. The sleeve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like last night all over again. <laughs> Couldn't find it for a while, but we got in there eventually. Slide your disc into my sleeve. Oh no way! Where are you going? Oh wait, you well, this is much easier, Al. You could have just walked down the side of that wall. I think he's making it difficult on purpose for you, not. The good point is, it doesn't matter how much noise you make here. Why? Because you get a fucking ear out. This building's fucking bonkers. It's bonkers. It's bonkerlicious already. Is it bonkers? Dude, it's oh yeah, this is weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Nakatomi Tower. Nakatomi Tower. Hang on a minute, Blackwater, weren't they an investment group that like controls the world? Weren't they involved in loads of like arms dealing and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't your, didn't your dad sell Avon? Yeah, to your dad. That's a diagram. Oh, yeah, you ready? Air New Zealand. Look at that. Wow. Now turn around. I did not expect that. That's I, think I think this is like the big shop offices. The big shop? Is this where everyone did the big shot? Filth. Fucking filth. Eh? Dirty bondage filth. Why is the filth here? Because these is corporate offices already. Do you know you, you used to be able to buy a blue plane ticket and everything they sh all the movies that they showed on the plane was just porn. <laughs> <laughs> and all the air hostesses this, were topless. This looks like what you do to me. I'll describe what you're seeing. Uh, you'd leather. A, you'd have a fanny. Strap-ons. You have that. Oh. I'd like one of them. Oh my fucking god! It's like a nappy. With it's, like, it's like an. It's like bit. It's like a strap-on, but there's a. It's like a full-on like underwear bit, and there's a dick going up your ass, and then there's a strap on there. Imagine a nappy made on out of leather with a it? dildo in it up yeah. your bum, and, and then a, a dick out of it. it. It's only thirty-eight dollars. I'd fucking buy one of them. Dollars. What a strange thing to. Uh... Having an abandoned it? flight training oh, centre. I thought that was a fucking gay person. I thought that was just a <laughs> young lady with a No. Not a kisser. I was just, just gonna say that. <laughs> Let me take a picture. So when's wedding? Next October. Look at this. 
Oh fucking hell! That'll make a right picture for Nothing. What? It's got a an airphone. Have I told you the story about my what I did with an airphone? No. So the, I've only ever been on one plane that had an airphone, and I was like, I have to use this. Like I oh, might is never this get when this. You went to Washington. Yeah, I might never get this opportunity again. And you slide your card on the side of it. Yeah. And then I rang my dad. Yeah. And it didn't work. It so I slid you. it again and around my dad and I got through it was a really bad reception yeah and I just said hey dad I'm on an air phone bye <laughs> <laughs> and it cost me 75 quid <laughs> I thought you were they gonna... charged me 15 quid for the one that didn't work I thought you were going to say I thought you were going to say that your dad thought you were in a plane that were going down <laughs> <laughs> oh god that would have been good would it if I would told him dad I love you <laughs> see you in hell <laughs> oh, look this is the copy room that's where they forged people's passports. Hey, Mersey. You can only go in that room if you scouse. Or like the Beatles. What I want to know is, oh, I found uh, I found Al's room. <laughs> <laughs> Paying people service centre. Jesus. This? Yeah. yeah, it is. It's got BA buttons. What's on? Is it a pilot's jacket? No, it's not a pilot jacket. It belongs to a Julian McDonald. Oh, yeah. That was all original oh. as well. I think this is like recruitment. Now all the positions that are available. I'll show you some positions later on, lad. I don't know the room, is it? Well, look at the weird murderer. No, no. No door open. So this owl, if it leads out to a big warehouse, it's where we need to be. Looks like it does. So that. Yeah, that's the big. Yes, it's behind here. Ow, 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 ow. see my feet because there's a gap under it. They were like, they, were like, they had shirts and waistcoats on. Yeah, oh my fucking god. Just look at that. Let's head over there. Yeah, let's head over there. Don't, don't make it sound. What was that? It's secure. Most of what we need to come from. 
Yeah, I've come as well. do a lap of that building yeah, the one that they know everyone wants to get in. from their thing so I reckon now that they've done that lap we're good we've gone back. but if you want me to I'll nip out and just walk around where they went and see if I can see them Sneaky. I feel like we're war correspondent in here, just hiding out in a building. Point just to make sure right with what Al's going to check out. You don't normally know. Al's going to check out if we can get in. I mean why are you just hiding out in here? Are we gonna We might as well have a quickie. I'll just put you down. It's like fire training and medical training. Where am I? And that's the restaurant, so I'm here. This is what we need to go to, I think. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. You can't see that. You can't see it. Right, so I need to find a way into there now. It's not just straight over the fence. <laughs> I really like being out here on my own when I know that there's security guards fucking walking around. So, I found the point. You found them? Yeah, they're literally there. In that building? You can see. Do you know the big, like, open doors with the gates that we were going to climb in over there? Yes. Yeah. It's like that. You can't, so you can't get in. Well... Oh, shit, yeah. You're not, you're not very observant, are you? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. We're in. Right. Stairs there. Oh. You can do a loop of the whole thing. Holy shit. Oh, that's cool. That's a 747. Careful because that's gonna slam back. Oh shit, we're inside a plane. Look at all the life jackets. Oh, fucking hell, Al. This is a 777. How cool is that? It don't work. The seats are a bit weird, aren't they? With the, is that so your balls can hang no. down? That was loud. Turn that off. That was loud. Yeah, that was loud. It's so this can come back all the way to you. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. This is where Al usually goes with, you know. Oh, wait. With that block, with that block. Only get on a plane. <laughs> Gaze on a plane. <laughs> That'd be a good film. Should we head into the big one before those two grippers get back? So, you reckon this was this is all in the safety one, was it? Surely. Yeah. Where they led on like the slides and stuff. Look, it's uh, first class or business class or whatever. This is the closest I've ever been to business class. Same. <laughs> you know what's really weird? You know, like business class. Have you ever been like a uh, first class on a ferry? 
<laughs> no. All right. Well, when you're in first class on a ferry, they're like you. You get to go to the front. You have like the front window view. You know, because everywhere else. Yeah, so you can see out. Yeah, you have like the front. Why do they do it in planes? Because they don't have windows in front. They should, like cockpit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, no, no, that's the remote for your for yeah. your chair. And then, if I remember rightly, there's a cigarette. We mean remember rightly. So you are full. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean it like there should be a screen somewhere that popped uh, out. Maybe it's there. Uh, oh, is it that old? Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's still. It's a big old fucking room, isn't it? Yeah. How oh, cool! I'd love to fly. Right, the thing is, you know, like nowadays, like you see them, like case. You should be able to as well. Lift that up. Lift that up, but yeah. I think it'd be more interesting to fly first class on a plane from like the nineties. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I, I think it'd be more interesting to fly first class on Concorde. Yes. Now that would have that, been good. That's a dog bollocks, isn't it? Well, let's head down to. Are we going down to scum class? Yeah, go on. Hey, this. So I'm assuming this is like a bit where they've done like the simulations and no, stuff. No, That's not original. No, this is where they download all the films from Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal if you're in the air. <laughs> so that must have been business class, uh, first class, and this must have been business class. The honeymoon suite. Oh yeah. This must have been first class, because yeah. I mean business class. Cause look, yeah, definitely. You got screens there. Yeah. So, hang on, you're saying this is first class, that was business? I know, I reckon that's first, this is business. Right. You got more space in that one. And then this is scum class. What? We're, we're trying you out of the chairs. The chairs, like, yeah. Stay in that one. Same me, same me. Same me, same What the pictures are more smart cats either? And I imagine this goes back outside. Yep, it does. Right. Oxygen bottles? I never thought I'd be on a plane and be saying this bitch just got spiral. <laughs> <laughs> this always reminds me of snakes on a plane. Oh no, fuck that, and this will have been first class. No, I don't think it is. Why is it not? It, oh. Oh. it would have been. Maybe that's. Not, but surely it would have been the top deck. That's weird, isn't it? To do flight escape. Oh, it's the slide. Oh, boy, you look at the chair. That's where the slide would have come out. Now, they're brown. And they're like shag. They look like a dog bed. No, I'll tell you what, Norton. <laughs> i tell you what. This would be a cool podcast room. Oh. Imagine. We're all facing forward like we're on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll sat in the baby seat. <laughs> With the baby seat. Um You would no, think someone's left their fucking crutches in. They're handy for me then. Is that a hazmat suit? It is a hazmat suit. It'll be for fire when they do a fire drill. Yeah, look, there's the uh, filter. Mm -hmm. Or the uh, bionic. It's all makeshift, innit? For British use only. You would think because it's a bigger plane, they'd have a bigger cockpit for some reason. You just would have thought that. Yeah. You know, like if you drive a Range Rover, you've got a bigger. That's interesting. So. They've um, obviously got rid of all the con all the switches and all the controls. Yeah. Um, but apart from the ones that related to like fire and stuff. Ah, uh, look, Lloydy. Because isn't that the, is that the fire? What we pull that for the fire? What does it say? I don't know. Smoke evacuation. Yeah. So, so that's it, to open the doors. Yeah. That, that the, might basically. be the. Hey, oh, that's wood. That might be the doors. You know, the side doors opening. Yeah. Yeah, Lloydy, what? That's not original. I mean, it's original, but that's not a proper pilot, surely. I want this in the van. Boy, that is one of the switches that you need. I want you in the van. 
I just did that. In this, I have never known, noticed this. On, well, I've not been in many cockpits, but I've never known about this. How many cockpits have you been in while well, in the air? One. I've been in two. Oh, fuck you then. <laughs> but look. It's an ejection. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Just let it down. Hang on. Down. Let it down. I've got it. It's really heavy. One. Ready? I'm a strong boy. Okay, okay, wait. wait. the purpose of it? It's an escape hatch. Oh yeah, I guess on the crash. Let's let that gently down. I like how the pilots don't have oh, to shoot. Oh no, it's a bird feeding hatch. Yeah. I like how the pilots have their really own escape hatch yeah, where no. they, they don't have to share with the commoners. Fuck the rest. Fuck the rest oh, by the best. You probably won't be able to see me. No, you will. Live jackets. Nothing. Yeah. Oh. The safety card. I've got one of them. Oh yeah. I nicked it. You stole plane. it. Yeah, yeah. You nicked it off a plane. That means someone's gonna die now because if that plane crashes and they've not got a safety card and you've stuck because you've stolen it, they won't know what to do. You're responsible for the death of a human life. Tell someone who cares. Uh, Somebody's managed to come here and do all this graffiti without getting caught. I've missed it. You know what's interesting, I've only just noticed. In fact, I think this is the only one. All the uh, extractor fans, you know, for fire. Uh, maybe that's the fire one. It's set fire to all time. Yeah, maybe. This, at the minute, is one of the big ones in the UK, and I'm not on about the plane, I'm on about the location. And uh, the last time this was open was a uh, fucking hell. The last time that was open was lockdown. Uh, I think 2020, right at the start. And I thought that they'd shut this place up and that'd be it. We're done and dusted. Um, but that's not the case and we're really, really incredibly lucky to get into it. Um, so I'm more than happy with that. Anyway, thanks for persevering with uh, exploring my crutches. And um, don't forget to like, and uh, leave us a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications because for every like and comment that you leave um, the algorithm gets a hard on and we get advertised on more videos and whatnot so don't forget to do that because it helps out the channel massively um, and don't forget to watch one of these videos that's on screen right now God bless and much love.